A new article in Vanity Fair says the smartphone app Tinder is destroying romance no. and dating. Destroying it. In the article, the writer hits a sports bar to talk with tables full of 20-somethings. Even while they're out, they're still peering into their cell phone screens, swiping over the faces of strangers so they could hook up with them later. The guys call the girls on Tinder, Tinderella. I like that. And <laughs> if a guy is particularly good at scoring dates, he is called a Tinder king. Now, this article really hammered guys. Yes. And so we have the two of you on the panel. I know you haven't dated in quite a while. It's been a while. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, it really hammers that they're, they particularly talk to men who's, who kind of talk about this as a sexual conquest. They go on Tinder, and one guy says, I've slept with 100 girls this year because of Tinder. And lied about, you know, wanting a relationship when they didn't. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think it's, the one point that I thought was really interesting was just how kind of uh, self-centered Tinder, I, I shouldn't say just well, Tinder, but you're sure. looking at your phone and maybe it's, it's the culture. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're staring at your phone while you're on a date. To me, that's a little bit, not a little bit, that's pretty rude, you know, when you're on a date with <laughs> no, someone. What else is going on? Hey, you're, you're, you're interesting, date, you're but here, I'm going to check this out. looking for yeah. another date. Yeah. Yeah. Is the biggest that's the, the problem that I have with that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's easy to slam Tinder. Uh, you know, it's, it's often portrayed as slimy and people just looking for sex. I get that. But there, and have, as they have pointed out, there have been a lot of success, successful relationships that have come out of Tinder we as well. We have one in our newsroom. Yep. Kate Wright's met her husband yeah. on, t on Tinder. So, I mean, there are success stories like that. Um, I think it's just easy for people to criticize it so quickly just because, I don't know, it is making things a lot more accessible for people. You don't have to work as hard. Uh -huh. And maybe that, that's what people object to. You when know, I had to find a date, it was a little tougher. And they say this is the end of dating. I don't think this is the end of dating. I think this no. is a new era of dating. You know, you used to have to go to a bar, and superficial as Tinder is, that's kind of how you chose to walk up to someone. Sure, it's you're not swiping left or right, but you're going, no, no, okay. All right, I'll yeah. talk to her. Sure. <laughs> Was I the only one that pointed? Yeah. How do beer goggles yeah. work with Tinder versus in the bar, just seeing someone? Does it work better? I, I don't know. You, you just say you, you Tinder for your friends. Right, we've done that before. <laughs> oh, we were talking about so that. Fun. You just swipe. How does your wife When you know it's that? not a match, maybe it's better to swipe right, just to see yeah. what this set your buddy yeah. up. Yeah. Good that luck, You know what's best for them, right? Yeah, that's right. looking out for them. I, I don't, Which way? I don't know. Oh. Uh, it's not this looping motion. <laughs> yeah, not that I know that way. I'm trying right to remember. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've tindered. It may be the new way of dating, but this particular writer looked and said, he, she, uh, the person, I don't know if it was a he or she, was sitting in the bar and they were looking around and everybody was on their phone instead of going up and talking right. to one another. Yeah. They're texting each general. other, like just feet away, you know? Yeah. Sad. Oh.